do you miss most about AM? At least two sports a semester and study and go to swim training in the middle of it all and then go to sporting events, go to meetings at lunch and do everything like that. I played six months of footy and thought that was too hard because I had to go to training two times a week when you have to come home and sort everything out yourself. So it's just <laughs> the um, the support networks that I own up are just absolutely unreal and you do you do really take them advantage take them for advantage when you're still at school. And that's why I just say do do everything that you can, engage in as much as you can in grade twelve. Um, as much as it might be you might be focused on getting an OP or might be focused on making a certain team. It's your one opportunity that you can do literally everything and you'll get the support from everyone that you need. And I suppose just feeling like, you know, everyone's your friend and feeling like you could really, if you, if you had to, you could pick, pick up um, a conversation with anyone at the school. So that's certainly what I miss the most. Whilst being a student at Iona, uh, the three probably most important things that Iona gave to me were opportunities, encouragement and support. I really tried my hand at everything here. I played every land sport possible. I tried to play a musical instrument a couple of times and I did my best with the theatre. And But you know, no matter how good or bad you are, it didn't really matter at Iona. There was no ego. The teachers always supported you. And whether you were in the first or the fifth, what mattered was that you had a crack and that you were playing with your mates. And you know, those three things are something that Iona gave to me and something that I'll take with me for the rest of my life. Actually, the first time we came to Iona was at uh, an open day, I think, and I listened to a guy called Ted Gona speak, um, and he, he gave this really incredible speech. He said, at my Iona, I was in first 15, at my Iona, I was able to play in professional ensemble one, and he just kept going. He listed all these amazing things that he did, and I thought right then, right that second, that that's exactly who I want to be, and I think through my journey, Iona, from grade eight to, to grade 12, um, I really realised a lot of those goals I set for myself from quite a young age and it really gave me a strong sense of self that I'm, I'm quite self-confident these days, isn't it? Um, but what Iona really gave me was a desire. Like you come to Iona and you have immense opportunities and you don't have the facilities to do like pursue those opportunities outside of Iona anywhere near as much as you can when you're at school. You come to school and I was never musical at all, I was never into my theatre or anything like that. But especially in my later years in grade 11 and grade 12, I had a desire to go and support the boys in the theatre and in the music because that's what they were exactly doing for us when we were out. For me, what Iona gave me was that I could be who I wanted to be at Iona. I think there's some schools around that, that don't have certain you know, co-curricular activities or don't let you have the opportunities to do things uh, within the community um, and also coming back as old boys to coach or to, to help out wherever you can. So for me, it was, yeah, allowing me to be me, allowing me to play music, play percussion, public speak, you know, um, play sports, you know, get to have opportunities through the community to, to help, you know, you know, uh, well, example like Darling Point, you know, going there this year that you guys um, went on, you know, it's an amazing experience. Um, and for me, you know, again, it's the connections that you get. And for me, you know, with that connection with Darling Point, I'm able to now work, you know, a day a week there as a teacher aide. You know, and a few of the kids actually, you know, they remember you from when you were in grade 11 for me, you know, three years ago. Um, so, you know, Iona's a great place that allows you to be who you want to be. Probably the same as everyone said here, like, it's all the same sort of things, but the two biggest things for me was the compassion um, that you gained for other people and, um, for the younger grades especially, um, being able to go and help them with stuff, getting them to, you know, you walk through the playground and they know your name and it's great. When you're in grade, when you're in grade 12, you always get down to the younger blokes and you feel like they're your little brothers and you gotta look after them. And there's still blokes throughout today that hit you up on Facebook and ask you what you're doing or if they can have a hand or whatnot. And um, I think that's a real icon of when you're walking down the street and they're still talking to you and idolising you. I think something, it's what you blokes will find out that year fives, year sixes and sevens and everyone below you always will idolise you. So I think it's big to make an image for yourself and stamp that 2017 is a great year. Yeah, even when you're outside of school, even at uni or uh, doing a trade, you really got to commit yourself to it. Because Iona is such a big community where anywhere and someone will know you, you'll, you'll know a face and because it'll be from Iona. If you can be passionate and have a, have a passion for something, you're always going to always, always gonna give that little bit of extra for it. That's something that Iona really taught me to, taught me to do. Well, one of my 
one of the best memories I had uh, last year. It wasn't running down the first 15 title, it was going and watching the Carter Shield for the first time at NBC. Or, it was something I, I hadn't done before, but it was just the, just the atmosphere and just being with all the boys was just a great experience. And, and with that, you have your, your very good times, but then you have your very bad. And it's important as a group to go through these together, but then as you go through them, learn and adapt and cope with things differently. So once one thing happens, do something different. But if it doesn't work the first time, persist on and keep going. Like You're never gonna go anywhere as a person or as a group unless you just keep trying. You're representing the college and you're showing its values, not just to all the younger generations, but to the old boys, you're keeping up with what we've done and you're also showing people that want to come to Iona how great of a school it is. You always, as an old boy, and especially all of us, we always stay connected with going to some of the musicals, going to sporting matches, having old boy activities. And I mean, you always stay connected no matter what. You still speak to friends, you still feel a part of the community no matter what. What I mean by that is like when I came to school in year five for the first time, I wasn't really sure where I fit in or where I fit really sat. Um, but as the years went on, I really found um, a home and a family. And, and even when I wasn't the most academic student, I was able to find myself fitting in in other areas of the college. Something powerful is the fact that we have a, a responsibility to look after the younger students as well. And I really enjoyed that part of my, um, my journey. It's, it's easy to get trapped in like you're in Brisbane and it's kind of hard to, especially in grade 12, it's hard to think about what else is going on. But if you really think about it guys, you're in the safest country, in one of the best schools, and of the best school, you're the cream of the crop. So you're the cream of the crop of one of the best schools in the safest country. So when you think about those three things, you guys have got the most potential out of anyone in the world, your potential, so it's your responsibility.